So John Galloway joins us now. And uh, John, this feels weird, man, because I've been talking about you playing lacrosse since my freshman year at Syracuse, which was also your freshman year, a, a good year for the Orange. When you looked at this whole situation and you came into this year, when did you know this was going to be it for your playing career? Yeah, you know, I had um, I had it in the back of my mind going into the season that, you know, if I could put my best foot forward, this would be an opportunity to step away from the game on, on my own terms and um, really was, you know, keeping it there and, and felt good throughout the season. And, you know, my mindset has always been I want to be able to contribute. I never want to hurt our team. And I, hopefully there's games where I can help help us get a win. And uh, ultimately, I think it was week five or six, Joel approached me with the idea and and to be honest, it was a bit of a relief. You know, I don't know if I could do this on my own. I don't know if I had the courage just to walk away from from this core of guys. And uh, when Joel decided that he was going to do it as well, it made me think, you know, this is what a better opportunity to walk away from the game with the guy that I started it with at Syracuse as a freshman and uh, as a roommate for the past 15 years. So, uh, you know, the stars kind of aligned at that point and we made a, a really tough, but in a lot of ways, a really um, easy decision for us and our families to, to make this our last season and to really focus on the next few weeks as, as uh, hopefully a, a culmination of a really uh, amazing experience that we've had. I, I was going to say you and Joe White obviously made this announcement together this past weekend. Could you have gone on like one of you? Because it just feels like it's been a package deal the whole way. <laughs> I, you know, I told Joel when he first told me, I said, are you sure, man, you have a lot of tread on the tires. Uh, I think he can still play this game really competitively. And uh, there's no doubt that he has more lacrosse left. And may maybe it's, not, it's just not field lacrosse. Um, but for us, I think it was just a level of comfort that we did it together, you know, and, and we've done everything. I mean, we have really been kind of, you know, attached at the hip since really 2006 and um, for us to be able to kind of have our, our final chapter written together, uh, I think it's pretty fitting for our career. Obviously, there are so many things that you and Joel ha have shared. What are the fondest and the best memories that you take away from playing together all these years? Yeah, there's a lot of memories that certainly are probably better for off the air, but the on the air ones are, are just as exciting. I mean, um, you know, I look back at our career and I think about the, the you know, the first time that Joel came back and when he was an offensive midfielder and coaches asked him to switch over to the LSM position. And just while he was disappointed, his willingness to do anything for the team, that memory, you know, really started our relationship in terms of his integrity and the way that he plays the game and approaches uh, uh, working with the team. Uh, I remember in 2008 when we were playing UVA in, in the court in the semifinals in front of 50,000 people and a shot going off of Joel's stick and in the net. And I think made it nine four in the third quarter and him turning around and laughing. And I think without Joel in that moment, uh, panic would have ensued. But that's how Joel's always been as a leader, uh, as a player on the field, as a guy that's never scared of the big moment, uh, always can bring a lightheartedness to the game or, or to the locker room and change my perception on how I play the game. So that was a huge step for me is just learning from him. And I've been learning from him for the last 15 years on the field, uh, off the field, you know, as a roommate, uh, now as a husband and as a father. I mean, he has taught me so much and I just feel really, um, you know, I feel overwhelmed with with appreciation that I've been able to kind of go every step of the way and, you know, really to, to do the gold medal game together to now to to walk away in a professional jersey together. We've been able to experience all the highs and the lows and, um, you know, we're going to have a, a, a book full of memories to write about, but uh, this next few weeks is going to be a special one for us as well. Are you guys going to have to like get together on weekends and room together just to make sure that you guys still get to see each other? You guys have been seeing each other like every weekend in the summer for the last <laughs> 10 years. I, I have no doubt that him and I will find ways to, to come up with organic, uh, you know, weekends together and, you know, our wives are friends now and, and to be able to, there's a direct flight to Nashville from Nashville to Jack. So uh, <laughs> we're, go. we're going to find uh, yeah, we're going to find our, our opportunities. And, and to be honest, you know, we're looking forward to the next chapter where we get to get together, but uh, you know, kind of put our feet up a little bit and, and, and reminisce, but uh, not feel the pressure of game day. So, um, you know, we're certainly excited about hopefully the next few weeks, you know, hopefully we continue to earn one week at a time here together. But I think, uh, you know, we're looking, Looking forward to enjoying those those more relaxing weekends here moving forward. We had talked a couple of years ago, and it was after that 2018 MLL championship game. I kind of felt like you were almost done. And I think without the PLL, you admitted that you may have been done, but it was a new opportunity, and, and you obviously took it over the last couple of seasons. But you probably already had that feeling of, like, this might be it. How did that maybe prepare you for what this weekend and moving forward could be in terms of, like, your mindset going in? 
Yeah, you know, I walked off the field in 2018 with every intention to to move on from the game and, and to start to focus on, you know, really just coaching and our team and uh, the PLL. And, and that's one of the first calls we made was to, to Mike and Paul Rabel, just thanking them for, for you know, uh, elongating our career, really creating some longevity for us because um, this, this league has encouraged us to stay involved in some capacity. And um, now three years later, now that we've been able to see the highs and the lows of being on the Chrome and, and hopefully have an opportunity to continue that moving forward, I think we also see it as an opportunity to pass the torch along and to, to watch these young guys really take over and uh, I know coach Sudan has, has done a great job of building the foundation the next wave of guys and um, you know we I just look at my game and say I never want to hurt and I hope that I can go out on a high note but know that you know, I'm at the tail end and um, I can feel at ease and comfortable with that decision knowing that we have really talented players like Sean Scannone and uh, Kevin Rogers and you know Jackson Morrill and you know the list goes on and on and um, this team's at, at a better place now so I think that's that's our job as players is to leave it better than we found it and I hope that we did. Is it tough to, to know that one of these next couple of weeks might be it? Yeah, it's 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 different. There's a different, um, you know, there's a different level of anxiety this week. Um, but you know, our goal is to use that anxiety as motivation to to execute, uh, not to add any more emotion to the game or to add any more excitement for the team. That's that's not what we're trying to do. Uh, I, I think the the anxiety of knowing that this is our last hurrah, whenever that may be, uh, is adding just our motivation to execute and and to give us a chance to play in the playoffs. So uh, let you put your coaching hat on for your entire career. What's different about your game now in the last couple of years than when you first started and you jumped on the scene as a freshman starter at Syracuse? Yeah, you know, I, I've thought a lot about that, you know, with this decision. And, and um, ultimately, I, I've always wanted to walk away from the game saying, you know, if somebody was to talk about me as a player, they're not going to talk about my saves or my save percentage. I mean, those things aren't impressive. I don't have an impressive save percentage. I don't, I wasn't a great ball stopper. I, I want people to remember me as a teammate, uh, you know, the way that I acted in the locker room, how I carried myself, whether we won or we lost uh, in the competitive fire in which I played. I thought that that was always something I could control on a game to game basis. And I just want guys that I played with to look back and say, man, I really enjoyed the moments with him on the lacrosse field. And uh, I think that that's an ultimate uh, legacy that you can have is making any sort of memorable impact on the guys that we play with. And um, I hope I did that. I, I don't know, but I can tell you the last few days uh, of outpouring of support to Joel and I have been overwhelming, unexpected. I mean, I knew guys that I played with would reach out, but uh, just the amount of folks that have have said nice things about our career and, and what we've done. And um, you don't realize how much it means until, until you're at the tail end. And I think, you know, in my older age, I'm starting to um, appreciate and enjoy that more and more each day. I, I'm glad you mentioned the numbers because I remember it like freshman, sophomore year when you get, you're winning national championships in Syracuse and there are people, because you know the Syracuse media, oh, I don't know, it doesn't stop a great percentage, but you guys just keep yeah. on winning. You keep your job and, and the, the rest <laughs> is history. It's, uh, it's been quite the run, John. I appreciate that. Yeah, don't worry. I have the Daily Orange article still in my bag somewhere of folks that had said not so nice things. And uh, it served as a as motivation for me. But, you know, again, I just you think about all the people that, you know, uh, you know, put a lot into to getting us to this position. And I just feel very thankful that we were given an opportunity. Well, uh, John, it has been a pleasure covering your career throughout. Uh, continued good luck at Jacksonville and good luck this weekend. You've uh, been one of the class acts in the sport and you continue to be. So uh, good luck this weekend and, and good luck with the Dolphins. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. You've been uh, running parallel with us. Since I know. Year, so I appreciate this as well. Yeah, you make me feel old now that you guys are retiring. So thank you. <laughs> oh, man, trust me. I, I wish I felt any better. <laughs> Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Thank you.